Hello. So I'm just checking if the doors are closed so no one can hear me scream like a fucking idiot when I play video games on the internet for strangers that I don't know and that don't know me, but I assume still love me. I'm supposed to start with blast today. I I can't say I can't say I like this new trend of sending me stuff to look at before I even start a stream, but I'm gonna placate you. Because I, I wasn't here last time, right? Real quick. Very nice. Good. Let me get back to the, the start screen and booty up my game. Disco Elysium. I wonder if there's anything. Like, why is it called that? Why is it called Disco Elysium? Apparently the detective is very disco his persona is a little bit of a superstar cop right so he's kind of disco disco but what, what do they mean by elysium isn't elysium isn't that like um like a safe haven or something supposedly i'm too big a youtuber to know my individual fans i don't think that will ever happen Most likely you know us better than your co-workers. Uh, I think you know me better than my, than my co-workers do, actually. Because they legitimately don't know what I'm doing in my free time. Let's see. Yeah. Um, let's turn down the volume. Okay, so I wasn't here last time. Let's see if we can get back into it ASAP. I, I forgot what we were doing. We were talking. Were we talking to the woman or not? I I I have to say I'm not feeling this location anymore. So we're just going to leave her here. Goodbye, woman. We've somewhat investigated the curse, but to be honest, I don't really care. Can we tell the little girl that we just snitched on her? Hello, sir. How the <laughs> like I'm just How pointing my flashlight on her. I found a way into the doomed commercial area. Exciting adventures lie ahead, and maybe you can help Mother become less afraid. No, no. see you around, Annette. That's even your real name, because I assume it isn't. Boop. Good. Let's check out some new stuff. Let's let's investigate. Actually, I, f I think I want to investigate. Um, what is my job? I am like my my favorite job. I think is like a. I really like. I, am I allowed to tell you on stream what my favorite job is? Like, what I... I really like it when a woman does it, you know? The ad reads broken windows... Broken window, rather. Tips has windows. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. I look inside. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. What the fuck's graffito? The word, owner. Written on the other side. Oh. N and C scribbled backwards. I wonder what this could mean. What could Onak mean? I don't understand. I shift my focus to the background. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts. Lanky weather-worn wooden planks. An X-shaped cross topping its tower. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. Yeah, I leave. Um, I think I need to be careful with this game. This game is very long, and I don't really want it to overstay its welcome. And I don't mean this negatively for the game. I rather mean that my attention span, most likely, is not good enough to just play this in short bursts of two to three hours twice a week. And not get annoyed by it, you know what I mean? So, so we, we have to knock through the main story to, to stay engaged and maybe do a little bit of side quests along the way. If you had a bag in your hand, perhaps you could collect these bottles and sell them. Remind me of this for later because I need the money, definitely. So I think our big main quest is to get to the harbor, right? And talk to the harbor guys to help us get down the body. A lonely cormorant surveys the sea, indifferent to my approach. Eat it. Eat it. 
The belly of this boat shines like it was recently painted. Right. Oh, there's something blue. Blue means interactable, apparently. What is this about? Oh, there's a back alley here. Oh, this is the other Kuno. The Kuno S. Um, impossible conceptualization. Why am I looking at this wall? Let's not. Let's not fumble this. If you know what you're doing, you could beat this game in like an hour max. Really? Can I just arrest the killer immediately? It's me, right? It was me. Kuno, fuck him up. We're gonna beat Kuno S over the head. Well, are you sleeping right now, you stupid bitch? Pigs come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. If anything, you're afraid she'll take you out one day. <laughs> are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, pig. You think you're so clever. She hisses. That's my interaction with all women, really. Telling me I'm not that clever. Na na napa. Napa, oh, what the fuck is that word? Napa Kimpi. Lightning hand. What's Napa Kimpi? Oh, some money, some morale. Getting ever closer to my new pants. Hey, are you like disrespecting police work? And police workers? And everything else involved? There must be another way. The fuck was that voice? That was ghostly, Kim. Can you say this again? No. Can't get involved in this. Chairs and tables eaten by brain by rain and rot. <laughs> Not brain rot. That's me. I've been eaten by brain rot. Can I just Can I just retake these things? Are they all free? Like are things on on the like I don't understand. Are things on the street, are they free? Like in real life too? Can I just take them? These barrels are half full of rainwater or half empty, depending on your philosophy, I guess. Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. Can I check on this? Oh, what's that? There's the code over there. How do I get there? Oh, I didn't even check this, did I? So much to loot. The looting is definitely the fun part in this. Like you never played an RPG before? I'm being cheeky, ML. I'm being cheeky asking what I can do the same in real life, okay? It's a joke. God damn it. Ooh! A signal blue naval code. One suggestion. Minus one half light. What is what what I'm currently wearing? Currently wearing No, I'm I'm wearing something with just a plus. So I'm not gonna switch it out. I could wear my white satin shirt and try the the wall again to see how how high my chances are now. But it's better than three percent because it's conceptualization. Just an ordinary wall. Still free. Still free. Nah, it's not worth it. Let's let's see what. Uh, uh no, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would. You're being cheeky too. Yeah, yeah, you are. There's a girl up there. Did she spill the paint? Is this paint? Or is she like having that time of month? Inside the frame of a motorcycle and repair and the tools used to assemble it. Capeside Apartments. Talking to me, woman? Docking reserved for residents. Your room in the whirling is much bigger than this sloop. Let's talk to this captain. A striking woman. Oh my god, it's a hack! Top of her sailing boat. It's a hack, Smiling everyone. As you approach, her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Oh, let's listen to her voice. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Oh, she's British. She extends her hands in, hand in greeting. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. 
steps close and holds out a hand over the railing. Joyce L, what does the L stand for? Phaeton, my maiden name. The bony bony hand dangles from the sleeve of an oversized raincoat. Um, I don't shake a hand because that's not how I roll. I'm glad to see you here. The woman and the lieutenant exchange a brief handshake. I see how it is. I don't extend my hand, so you just shake any other old hand that you can find. She's a hussy. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Gladly. Wait, wait a second. Who is she again? She represents the owners of the harbor. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. Oh I no. Let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical <laughs> Very unusual. <laughs> but I can assure you of his ultimate. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I look like right now. <laughs> I I have to warn you, he's a little bit well. Uh, there's no other way to tell to tell you, but he's just straight up crazy. But <laughs> happens quicker than a shooting star. But did the lieutenant just wink at you? Is he gay for me? How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. You on a boat? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a simple man, you know. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? <laughs> Fuck me, my character is so dumb. Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Wait, wait. we're on an archi archipelago. Archi I look around. Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Uh... Ca Caillou? I, th I thought we were in Revachol. We are. And the city of Revachol is on the island of Le Caillou. Well, my point still stands. I haven't seen anyone else say the boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. What kind of point are you trying to make then, woman? Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol, between the city and the islands. Well, if you're trying to be this smart with me, woman, do you have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. I assure you I'm a highly qualified pleasure women operator, okay? So... Do you want to see my license or not? The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Qualified pleasure craft operator. So charming. Where's the damn license? I agree, Half Flight. I absolutely agree. Can I see your license now? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Even finished once. I'm like such a bitch of a cop, aren't I? And like I'm such an asshole. I still need to see a license, ma'am. Actually, you don't. I'm pretty sure I do. I police. It is a little known fact among those who police that the Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. Wait, exactly how little known is this fact? <laughs> More like the Anarchy Act. In my opinion. So we can't pull over random civilians and demand their papers? That's weak. Um, wait, how, how little known is this fact? I was just being polite. Even school children know the Wayfarer Act. Well, more like the Anarchy Act, in my opinion, then. No need to politicize this. You may still ask for the lady's passport. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm going to need to see your passport, Miss... What was the name again? Joyce? That sounds like a fake made-up name. Of course. She searches the pockets of her raincoat, producing a bundle of documents in a sealed plastic bag. But have you noticed that she hasn't produced her license yet? Her, like her boat license, which means she doesn't have one, which means she's the fucking killer. That's it. I found her, boys. Pack it in. Just take her away. Put her on the chair. Pull the trigger. Flip the switch. Whatever you do. I don't know. Piss on a corpse. I don't care. Just kill this woman. I look at her passport. The woman is silent. 
smiling while the waves lap against the hull. In your hand, under the plastic, a light blue passport saying, Republic of Vespa. The coat of arms has a lion and an ostrich. Sejant. Which is funny because Vespa, or rather, Vespa is like German for like like a, a break time lunch or something. Like like a sandwich you eat during your during your break. What a Vespa is. Look at the photo page. The woman born in the year three in the commune of Rivershaw smiles at you. Face adorned with frown lines and crow's feet. The photo is recent. The name reads Rejoice Leighton Messier. She was lying to us. Her name is not Joyce. Her name is Rejoice. Also, she was born in year three. She, well, how old is she then? Like 5,000 years? Your name is Rejoice? Yes, but please don't call me that. Why, Miss Rejoice? Joyce is much more efficient. Names are not about efficiency. Everyone would just call me... C. Because that's short for Carsten, right? You're from Vespa? My husband is. I have dual citizenship. A Vespertine is handier when traveling. No, right. everything appears to be in order, Miss. Rejoice. I give the documents back. She nods and returns the plastic bag to her coat. Uh, I think I have a handle on the boat thing. I don't really care about the name of the boat. Good. Takes a sip of a thermal cup. Uh, do we want to know about the wild pines or the strike or the lynching or about the tattoos? <laughs> <laughs> you seem rich. Can I have some money? Is what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? Well, it is. I just need to say it in Land Empire. What is this? An athletic challenge? Scream it from the top of your lungs immediately. Show that asshole. I agree. You seem rich. Can I have some money? You're thinking it, but your lips are not moving. W w why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. What nice fabrics. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. Is he telling me to, to choke her out and steal it? While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes, red from the cold, her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. Yeah, so? Now look at you. You misery-clad simian. Barely able to tie your own laces. Thank you. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of boons precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. I was sure I was wearing any. You're poor. Poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too... Ashamed? I'm not ashamed? What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough, as I should be for even considering it. This is a woman and I'm a man. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. No, I'm a goddamn working man. She, I, I, I demand money. I'm working for her, right? She can give me some goddamn... I'm gonna die of morale damage in a second. I need to heal. You think your little communism protects you from this feeling? No. The more demeaning it is to grovel at her feet. Maybe I like that. As I was saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, now I have to pass a check to do it. We're going to keep this open for now. Um, <clears throat> can, well, can you tell me about the lynching then? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. She holds silent for a moment, contemplating something. Most likely how she's not going to uh, incriminate herself. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Oh shit, uh, I seem to have misplaced my badge. I'm very sorry, Miss Miss Rejoice. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Prison 57. And this is my colleague from Prison 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. No, oh, she's gonna be a bitch about it. How curious. Why is that, Detective? <laughs> she returns to the sense batch and turns to you. Remember when my partner told you that I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My lost badge is related to it. <laughs> it almost seems like I'm proud of it. I see. So, are 
Are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? It's possible. After a night of heavy drink, I lost all memory. I could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, the city, nothing. Yes. Uh, yes? I can't hear you, darling. Speak up. Please. Shit, they, they forced me to choose one of these two. Well, I could have eaten it for all I know. You know, I don't remember anything. This world, the city, nothing. Someone must have really bonked me over the head. Tee hee. Oh, dear. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. You think I awakened to all of the voices in my head and body because I, I, I was just had this near-death experience? Because that's how it's always been in my life. I always had an inland empire inside myself telling me not to flirt with random strangers. As I said, man, or ask them for money. Very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. My technique is First and most of all, effective. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Ooh, there's a red check. It cannot be retried. If we fuck this up, we have to find our badge. A suggestion check. Can we retry it? If I, I'm just going to put on something else and then I'm going to try to retry this check, okay? Let's talk about something else first. Before we do, officers, let me be perfect. Or can I not do this check again? The situation is extremely volatile. The sooner we can speak about this lynching business, the better for all of us. Okay, that's all for now. Of course, detective. Take care. All right. Suggestion. Let's let's game this. Um We're going to word a, <laughs> add a code to make this check slightly easier. Uh, we're gonna save because I haven't saved in a while. Not to save, scum. Good. Hey, about the missing batch. 58%. 58%. Here we go. She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. Oh, I'm gonna insinuate her all right. Insinuating is when you when you release your spunk in a woman, isn't it? Oh, no, that's inseminating. Sorry, I, like, mixed up my terminologies. Surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials I will be frank with you if I'm going to break protocol I need to be able to justify it to my superiors they're going to want to see something very tangible she she's picking up on it she wants me to whip out my dick you're in but expect her to drive a hard bargain just like my hard dick like what reports from inside terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade this is an open secret in Martinez the union controls the terminal so it goes to reason. I'm afraid I don't follow you, woman. They're profiting from this trade. Okay. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stone. Oh, she's using me, this fucking bitch. Or you can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, bitch. Kim, let's move away from her before we talk, because otherwise, like, there's no point in this. Also, let me, let me undress again. Let's talk, my friend. The lieutenant's voice is hushed. Oh, um, so quiet, I almost can't hear it. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and you know, not volunteer us to be her. Henchman. I was trying my best. I thought I was getting somewhere with her. I thought I could like lay with her and get the information out of her that way, but she just turned it around to make this all businesslike. I didn't expect that. Uh, we're henchmen now. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. Uh, we could just, you know, find my badge. Oh, that would be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world is large and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. Oh, okay. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. What do you propose then? Are we don't investigate the drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. Or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done, and demand for her information on the lynching. I'm gonna follow you there, Kim. I fully agree with you. Let's get back to her. 
Okay, woman, we're, we're done talking. We can now go back to talking with you, I guess. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Good. Tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Shit, yeah, baby. It's the party. <laughs> Shit, pipeline. yeah. Why would you want to shut that down? Why are you trying to shut down the party pipeline? I assure you, officer, <laughs> these are not the sort of parties you'd want to attend. You don't know me. She has no idea what kind of parties you've been to. Um, let me get this straight. The materials come from. No, no, no. Let's just. You want us to investigate and move on. Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everard and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every she, chain has its weak link. She raises her bony finger. What do you mean? Am I going to need bolt cutters for this? Unlikely, officer. I'm talking about the lorries. What oh, a lorry! The ingredients reach Jamrock. They're distributed to a network of local manufacturers, well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they may be vulnerable. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. She gives me a knowing look. Because she just knows, right? Also, she's a white woman, so I just know as well. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. It's no coincidence that Dolores is friend there like that, is it? No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, <clears throat> she pauses, looking to the sea. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. She looks north. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. A cold breath rushes in from the bay, making its way down the alleyways and potholed streets. From Martinez to Jamrock, in the traffic you hear the clinking of glass vials concealed beneath tarp hauling. Or is it just your teeth chattering in the cold? I shiver. Fucking misery. A lot of it. It comes in from large Samaran factories in South Safre, Seagai, and Sinyar. <laughs> it's, it's called Seagai. <laughs> Seagai. It's almost as fun as Eurogay. Well, at least this solves one mystery. Sorry, Kim, Joyce, I didn't listen. I was making fun of this name. What did you, what were you saying? What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Okay, I made up my mind about this. Let's proceed. Yes. Uh, we will take this case prop to drivers and see what it yells. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. A few more days! Holy shit, woman! I don't plan on sleeping, so that's great. You know you can complete this game without inspecting the body? Are you serious? In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Can I ask her for money now? Maybe I can ask her for money. Like after we've done the quest. Oh, loot. Uh, more magnesium. Pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Looks like there was more construction here once, decades ago. Alrighty. Is the game really time limited? Considering there's like a day and time cycle going on? Am I shit out of luck if I 
The done goof or that? A pack! A pack! Equip this to collect tear from the street? Can I take the bag? Go to the go to the trash can. Take out <gasps> Take out the the, the bottles. Oh, this like. Oh my god, amazing! So much money, it's literally just on the streets! I need to quick save. This is like, this is better than Christmas and Easter combined. A split of bullet holes lines the wall. Who would shoot at this wall? I need more. Can we talk to this man? No. You hit the distant squall of seabirds. Yeah, now what? What's that? Oh, just what? What is that? It's like free money. Who left free money in this little cubby hole? I now have ten money. I need fifty money, fifty real, to get the pants. I'm just doing recycling now. Been kicked out of every joint in Ravishal. Uh We're doing. Uh, what's it called? In Germany, you have to pay like a like a bottle, like a bottle, not really bottle tax. But you have to pay like a bottle fee when you get like plastic bottles or glass bottles as well. Not all glass bottles, just some of them. I don't know what it's called, what the English term is. Term is. So in Germany, you, you, you pay for like whatever the drink costs you, right? A, a euro or something. And then you, you pay 25 cents on top of it for the bottle. Then you drink the bottle and you bring the bottle back into any fucking store whatsoever. They all have to take it as long as they do sell bottles themselves. And they give you back 25 cents. The same in Finland. Return cost. It's to incentivize people to, to not litter and stuff and basically recycle, I guess. Although it has less to do with recycling, more like with... I guess it is a form of recycling, right? Reusing the bottles. Some great te tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Can I sit on a bench? Like a bum? The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Well, if I get kicked out of my room, then I can come here. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. He will leave me? This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. What the fuck is Ghost graffito? Inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Fuck you, mail delivery box. I kick it. Did I kill myself? No. There is a hollow, saddened ring as you kick the Levantorie mail collection box. It sounds betrayed, in disbelief even. Shit. I need to heal myself, right? Damage. It hurts. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I almost killed myself again. Cool. You really showed that mail collection box. I rubbed my toe. You think so? You think it was cool? I don't. Let's go. Okay. Uh, good mail delivery box then. Good mail delivery box. I pet it. I'm very schizophrenic. I don't know if anyone noticed. The mail collection box has no faith in your psychopathic manipulations. Fuck you, mail delivery box! I kick it again. <laughs> no, I leave. Ah, oh, it was kind of funny, to be honest. Somewhat funny. Still need to buy a map too. Was it free? I don't remember. A map? Where, where would I need a map? I could just walk around. Oh my god, am I really just picking up all these bottles? We can't even sell them. Are these the, the like one of one of the drivers? Stop between those trucks down there, smokes go get them. Ah, there. Good eye. Good eye. I gained a smoke. Do I just smoke them? Substance use effects. 
one intellect, minus one health. I don't know how to use them though. There it is, a brave little army in your pocket. I can hear myself up. Platoon. Twenty brave souls standing in salute, ready to step into fire for you, sir. Yeah, it's my first playthrough. I'm I'm playing like a hyper idiot. <laughs> I pull one out of the pack. You picked the best one. This soldier is fat and sucking. Oh, I can't wait to suck what on him. Waiting for. Light up. Re become yourself. Light it up, boy. Get a load of this rock and roll cop hair. Johnny Thundercop fishes a cheap lighter out of his pants. With a flick of the thumb, there's fire. A primal satisfaction. Here we go. I dip that bad boy in the flame and breathe in. Ah. I need to get ready to heal myself. Now, right? Oh. I fucked up. You feel I didn't press it in time. <laughs> Another heart attack! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking shit. I'm scared. What do I do? Who do I call? Help! Someone! Yeah. Screaming isn't happening on account of extreme shortness of breath. You're just making it worse. Oh god. It's painful. I try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face. Like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. I guess these cigarettes were not very safe and effective, to be honest. Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective lieutenant of the... We've read this one before. Ah, uh, well, have we, when did we, when did that happen? Before or after we kicked the thing? The after, after. I'm gonna heal right now because I might as well. Is there any point in not healing? We have to pick up the bottles again. But it's, that's okay because I really like that. It's very cathartic to be honest to be picking up trash to sell it later. Man, the money is on the streets. You just have to take it, right? That's the thing. Like, if you're lazy, you're never gonna get rich. You have to pick up the bottles. If I ever lose my job, I, I will just, um... I will just go out and collect trash. That's my fate, I think. Alright, let's... Let's smoke them! Come on. Tell me to smoke them. We need to equip them first. There you go. Quick save once more, just in case I, I somehow take two damage at once. Pull one out. I light it up. I dip it in. Warm smoke gets sucked down into your lungs. Immediately, you feel a warm nostalgia fill your head, body, and... Damn, that was worth a lot of XP, though. for yourself. The man you were in your youth. Johnny Thundercop is back. And he's chill as balls. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a cigarettes button. Cigarettes gives plus one to intellect skills. Logic, rhetoric, conceptualization, visual calculus, encyclopedia, and drama. This is good before a white check, but damages your health. Okay, I get it. I do get it. Uh, some choice restore health and morale, so it's wise to be one short at all time. Yeah, that's that's good advice, Samuel. Some very good advice. Goods from the lorry haphazardly lit to the surroundings. Can I just investigate the lorries to see if they're like smuggling drugs or something. A bold slogan: Humanox covers a truck. That sounds like a drug. What's that? An old monument stand in the middle of the traffic island pointing toward the sea it looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods yeah i assume it's a temporary buff who this a silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads i am philip the third the squanderer the greatest of the philippian kings of rebishol 
son of Philip the second, the opulent, father of Philip the fourth, the insane. What did this king do? What did he do? Shit, I fucked up. You have no idea what you did a week ago. How would you know what this guy did many centuries ago? High above you, the king stands triumphantly oblivious to your memory trouble. I leave. At least it didn't hurt me. Like, my soul to not know it. Ooh! A white tank top, plus one physical instrument. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, yeah, it's like sufficiently dirty to, to be just a little bit... Then again, I don't know, like... This just looks like, like... Like just someone you don't want to be with, right? With like the mesh pattern. Only really buff gay guys can wear that. Like a mesh pattern like that. More money! Who that? Wait, wait, wait. Before we talk to you, we save. I look like a hobo? Thank you. A small, wrinkled woman does not... The fuck is that image? ...to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. Excuse me, ma'am? Ma'am? I'd like to ask some questions, ma'am? No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. I snap my fingers in front of her face. Really annoyingly. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. I snap my fingers twice. Where am I? Who are you? Like a magician recalling his object from hypnosis, you've jolted it back to reality. I was actually hoping you could tell me that. Uh, never mind. Shit, I, I fucked up. How. There was one that I said, I need to reload. I need to reload. There was one that said, I am the law. And of course, I am the law. I need to pick that, sorry. It's just like, that's canon. I am the law. Let's do this again. Small, Excuse me, ma'am. I snap my fingers. I snap them twice. Here we go. Me? I am the law around here. I, I am the law. Where we are, low man. Uh, well. Mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in the traffic jam in the 50s. She adds with contempt. What is that funny accent you're doing, woman? Um, uh, when else would you be that? Back in Mefka, during the time of the revolution. The side walls and cafes are filled with young people. I was on my way to see a new Goyadero picture starring Gabriel Buenguerron. What kind of accent is this supposed to be? Until you came along, that is. Look, she gives you is accusatory. Who, who, I, I, who is Gabriel Benguero? This is Gabriel Benguero. Shows you the photograph in a lavish amber frame. I take a look. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at It's you. a mirror. It's a mirror. His head crowned with a wide brim hat. Oh no, it's not a mirror. His hair is dark as an oil slick, and his jaw, the most perfectly chiseled thing you've ever seen. He was the biggest star of his day. Girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen. And schoolboys used to memorize all his lines. She leans back, savoring the world she's conjured up. Did I... Okay, they say this about Elvis as well, right? Why would a woman just faint when she sees a man? Like, what? what is the... What, what is the... The explanation about that? A sudden rush of blood to like uh, where even uh, how why do you how do you faint what what does fainting do what does it mean <laughs> am I like I uh, tell it to me as if it, as if I was well I am an idiot I don't understand fainting how can you faint I would faint if I saw you lambda I, you would faint if you smelled me I think clearly asks not a giga chat I. How can you make a woman faint without having any of your bodily pieces in her? <laughs> I faint even when I didn't see a man, but my blood pressure is through the floor. <laughs> okay, well, if we ever want to make someone faint, Arcane is an easy target. There, there you have it. 
Okay, so I, I have some other questions for you. Police questions. I don't really care about her bullshit. Why not, Harifa? What did you well, just call me? Anything better to do in this hellhole. Doubles back against the rating of a motor lorry. Behind a mountain, mountains of memorabilia, photos and knickknacks. Line the dashboard. Um... You seem like a woman who knows a thing or two about drugs. What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no drugs can compare. Where could I get my hands on an experience like that? If you don't know... <laughs> she flicks her wrist in a gesture of casual dismissal. Okay, I wanted to ask if you'd be interested in smuggling some drugs? Why would I want to do that? Um... I don't know, the thrill of the criminal lifestyle? Loma, what in the name of God are you talking about? Okay, I'm <laughs> being very heavy-handed here. Okay, let me put this another way. Are you smuggling drugs through Terminal B? Maybe. Probably not. Makes no difference to me either way. How can you not? I, I don't interpret this as her not knowing. I'd rather interpret it as her not telling me. But how can you not know what you're hauling in your own lorry? Just this month, I made half of those trips from Saramiris to Grad. The U for one A. What do you think they take from Saramiris to Grad, Loman? Trucks? No, Loman. Diamonds. She grins. Damn this. Make her answer. Yes. Oh my god. I love Half Light so much. Like, Half Light is literally me. Uh, if you had to guess, who do you think is smuggling drugs? I didn't ask you about diamonds, did I? You're making fun of me right now? You better start complying. Hey, Kim, can we just, like, arrest her for what is, what is it called? Con contempt against the law or something? Like, l resisting against the law? Making fun of the law? Looking at me weirdly? Can we just arrest her for just anything? I will never make fun of a real lawman, Harifia. <laughs> She's implying that I'm not a real lawman. Man, you're not responsible for what a client puts in your lorry, as long as the seals are not open. We officers know that. He gives me a stern look. Lay offer. What? I... No, I won't! Fuck you, Esprit de Corps! I didn't ask you about diamonds, did I? I don't care about that. Diamonds are good for you, lawman. You should try them sometime. Make yourself pretty like Eva de Zoras. Okay, if you had to guess though, then who do you think is smuggling drugs? Easy. He's the skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never trust a poet. Also, he's the only one I can see from here. That's correct. There is no visibility of any of the others. Well, thank you, visual calculus. <laughs> okay, if you're not involved with the drug trafficking, then why are you still waiting here? Where do you want me to go? This isn't so bad. I can listen to music or the seagulls. Look at all the colors and the features of this world. It's a good palette cleanser, this jamboree. The fuck is she talking about? Or I can just relax and let my mind carry me back where it will, to the great plains. I think we're done here, no? Close this notebook to stress it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. Go. Enough jamboree. I need to get back to Mesky. Voice trails off. Well, she's fucking high off her tits, isn't she? Lonesome. Long way home. Alright. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then past the video rental store on the corner. There. At the end of a street lined with pine trees, a small house, no larger than a matchbox. A literal matchbox? Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times oh. are gone. Pardon me. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? Oh. You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. Sorry, I'm just emptying my pockets. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, where's the dealer? I learned learning cap for perception race to five and speed gives one psi. Whatever that means. Speed isn't it the drug speed? We're almost done with this one as well. You won't get what is wrong with her unless you dig deep into the law. Man, Emil, what is it? 
Why are you so invested in all, all of these games? You always know everything about them. So she was talking about a poet. Which poet? Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's money. There's money. Pick up the money. Before he notices. Is it money? It is literally money. Oh, so good. A foreign car kept in good condition. I don't like foreign cars or foreign people, though. Just came back. Did he get the money? I got all the money in the world, yeah. What's going on here? Loris probably stored fuel here. Now they store booze. What's happening here? Fuck politics. Let's just all work together. At least the dock workers? I assume that's a dock worker, so I'm not sure I want to tussle with him right now. And this is the frit. I was supposed to go into the frit for one reason or another. Ooh, magnesium. Hey, welcome to Ravishaw. Oh, I love him. I love him already. Uh, and now it's the rotund man. The remark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to the lieutenant. Uh, hey, I know Ravishaw, that's where we are. Don't you welcome to Revacholmi. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. How do you know his ancestors? That's really bigoted of you, Kim. How, how are you just assuming where this man ca comes from? He could be one of your countrymen. He could be one of you funny yellow people, you know? Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. What's happening? You sound angry, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Uh, limbo, what's going on here? Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. Yeah, why is Kim interpreting so much into one sentence? Like, he, like, he, he, got, re like, he got really defensive there. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. The fuck him? He just said, welcome to Revachol! <laughs> but you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Kim, I'm not going to take your side on this one. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shut Oh, him. shit. Fucking A, Kim, I've got your bag. Give him a lieutenant, give the lieutenant a punch on the back, on the shoulder, rather. Well, I think we all learned something here. I smile at the lorry man. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Uh, Automod doesn't like, like Japs. What do we do? I, as much as I like to be in Kim's good books, I, I, I do think that I'm role playing as a racist myself. So, uh... Well, I think we all learned something here. I haven't learned anything I didn't know before. The lorry man shakes his head with indignation. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Shit, I think I, I've, I've done goof there. No, that's subtle. We have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officer. He waits impassively, cigarette small ring between his fingers. I found this mug in the trash. Show it to the man. Yours? <laughs> Racist mug. <laughs> uh, what was that argument all about? What are you hauling? You're a lorry man, right? What's your stance on drugs? Drugs? They're shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. He takes a long drag on his cigarette. Why not? You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. Safre. Il Mara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. You're right. These fucking assholes. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. You better listen well, everyone. He's about to drop some real red pills. Um, Listen, I agree. It's our responsibility to keep this poison off the of streets of Ravishaw, right? He eyes you wearily, unsure how to respond. 
This goes on for about two seconds. Then... If there was a racist stat, I would have it maxed out. With my character, of course. Jesus Christ, don't clip this out of context. I don't know shit. <laughs> and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. He puffs on a cigarette. Why are you still hanging around here? Most of the other lorrymen have left. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kids sneaking on at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. Oh, that's not what you want to have on your ass. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. I did see one lorry with the trailer doors open on my way here. Do you know what happened? Yeah, I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags when some kid boys smashed his lock and took damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. Ah, uh, fuck these kipped boys. Whatever that means. I assume it's some racist term. <laughs> but fuck him. Since he left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. Bad for him, I guess. It's a fucking travesty, is what it is. He shakes his head as mate, furiously pulling on a cigarette. Um. What are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so. Uh... It's a sit and wet on your ass situation. You know, when I hear him talk like that, I kind of want to pull out my ass Stotkin accent. How long has this been going on then? <laughs> no. Wait, well, yeah, how long has this been going on? The strike. I'd have been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of car are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? Hmm. He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest. You were bested. I got, I've got, I got fucked there. Uh, I found this bucket in trash. Okay, wants me to show him. Is this yours? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's great. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. I agree. Is it yours? God, man. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. I got experience for that. So if it's not you doing the drug smuggling, then who is running drugs through Terminal B? Isn't it obvious? Fucking Seelang, that beady-eyed Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Who that? He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Really, he's just selling his employer stuff. Stuff he stole after he broke the seals on his Humanox lorry. Where do I find him? Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. The lorry man lets out a raspy croak at his own sense of humor. Yes, yes. Where is he? Looks like uh, I offended your partner there. Too bad. Sea lengths usually a little bit south of here, the other canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourselves. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right. One hundred percent. Whoa, whoa. Cool it with the anti sumerianism or whatever you were going on there. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Sea Lang himself has to say. I guess we need to pay Sea Lang a visit then. Guess so. He grins, contented with himself. All right, we're done for now. This guy's like apples, and you go, what a cunning beast. <laughs> yeah, I did. All right, we're done with the anti-object task force. So please read it to me, narrator man. Behold, the anti-object task force has assembled. God's avenging angel, arrayed against the lower emanations of the darkened one. Shoe racks, tape recorders, motor carriages, and... Doors. So many doors. You're not just pounding it all to pieces. You're reforging the universe. From the anvil of the heavens to the worms below. Indulge in it. Be bold. Have an impact on the shape of creation. Out of the furnace of your rage. A new reality. Also, you should trash your room again. We're gonna do that in a second. What did we get? We got plus one pain threshold, a fix skin, and all physique learning caps raced by one. That's fucking sweet. Hmm. 
Very nice. We have a skill point available, but we might keep it open for, like, if I need to unlock one of these. Uh, do, if I, do, I have, do I have one open? No. Uh, let's take a look at these. Jump jams. Popular. Oh, shut up, I can't read. A popular... Dude! A glossy magazine. Most able-bodied man. This issue has a top 10 list. I know they're much hunkier than you. <laughs> That's not true. I'm the hunkiest of hunks. Okay, we go back to the whirling and rags and treasure room again. Close for winter. Please use the main entrance. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. That was useless. My physical uh, pain threshold rather and caps are high already. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can we check this out now? Hey! We steal some food? Dishes are drying. The smell of chemicals on pine trees. Aroma of spices, alcohol, and tomato hangs in the air. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimpled lock. It's painted blue. I touch it. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. I try to push it. The door does not budge. I wonder where, do where the door leads. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Uh, out of duty, we may find something pertinent to the investigation. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it's worth seeing if we can get in. Just to be thorough, as a side investigation. The door is a mega investigation, or the door in the main investigation will merge into a stereo investigation. <laughs> no, I, I kind of like mega investigation. Hardly. Anyway, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. No, oh, I don't really want to talk to him. What about the cook? Hello, cook man. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. Is he allowed to smoke in here? As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. It must be his name. Garanzi. Garanzi Quebec. Sounds representative. Uh, Mr. Quebec, I'm here on official police business. The man puts his cup down and replies something. His left hand drawing arcs in the air. Uh, do you know what's behind the door? I point to the blue door. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Do you have a passport? Sir, I need to see your passport to know if you're allowed to be here. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's behind that door. You've got some impressive spots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. I don't think I need anything else. Stay masculine. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna like, that's how I'm gonna tune out. I tune out, like, that's how I'm gonna like say goodbye in real life. Because online it, it feels kind of forced, but if I just say it, I can make it my thing to just say, they, how do I how do I translate that though? Like if I go if I leave work, how can I say that to my female co-workers and still sound cool? Stay messy. I wonder if I can just translate it literally to them. Alright, stay masculine and then I go. Stay masculine, my friends. The door is closed still. The lieutenant gives you a quick Glance. There's a woman in there, Kim. There's a woman in there, and I need to see her. You should punch a fucking hole in it. Fucking hole? Hey, what is your problem? I don't know, to be honest. That felt good. Everyone is a whore. Now punch a hole in the door. I punch it. You slam your fist into the vinyl. It does not produce a hole. The door sits sturdily in the frame, and your fist hurts. This was all a very good normal We, we did this before. <laughs> Not to mention great exercise. Yeah, we did Stop this before. The tennis sounds angry. Oh my god, if he if he sees the state of our room, he's not gonna be happy. Can I pick up bottles here? Oh my god, I can pick up my bottles too. Mm. Very nice. We just have space for unlimited bottles. It's cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. 
The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Why would I go sleep? Why would I go to sleep? Jim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. My sink is still running. Bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Oh, okay. We can if if I use the the cutters, I can try to fix the the mirror. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. Oh my In god. It, your face. Well, it's a white check, I can retry it. With the expression. The chain ah. can slip out of your hand. Oh no! <laughs> to twist the faucet into place. Well, you know one thing for sure. You've probably never been a plumber. It would have been worse if it had, had cut away like a toe or something while f when falling down. Give me anything you need to say to me Jim about also this? Or? tries not to look at the pile of tech viscera on the carpet. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. Oh, there's two very good dialogue options. I did it my way, or this is where the magic happened. <laughs> and by that, you mean crimes against humanity? Crimes against myself. I defied bourgeoisie morality in here. Defied it hard. I have no idea what that means. Looks towards the exit longingly. Oh, kind of funny. Hey, why can't I not pick up this bottle? I can pick up this one. Man, as soon as I sell all of these bottles, I'm gonna be a rich man. Anything out here? No. Kim is judging us. That's what these foreigners do, you know? Always judging. Ah. <laughs> uh. Do we talk to this guy? Uh, well. Can I help you? He arches an eyebrow. I found the victim's clothes in the trash container out back. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fuck you state. Whatever that means. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Could someone of his staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got Sylvie, there. Sylvie, I Sylvie. Vouch for her. I can vouch for all my stuff. Really? None of us would tamper with the crime scene. You shouldn't say this so lightly, you know? I can vouch for all my staff. What about this foreign cook in the back, hey, in the kitchen? Can you vouch for the authenticity of his passport? Is he here on, like, legal papers? Or has he been smuggled here in a lorry? Can you tell me that, Mr. Gate? That's even your real name, Mr. Gate? Also, give me a second. I need to pour myself something to drink. My monologue was not long enough for me to do it. Man planning to him how to Kim how he did it his way, Frank Sinatra style. So. You mean man's planning, I guess. Um, man planning would be if I like stretched out my hands T pose style and started going whoosh, I can fly. That would be man planning. That would be fucking amazing too. Almost done. Let me free pronged drink approach. Give me a second. Who else has keys? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Well, do you care to tell me then how it got in then? Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who I sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. On Clinton Street, near the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck rattles down an alleyway. It stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container despondently. CSM is written on their backs. 
Cybersex manual? Thank you, anyway. So Shivas just gave me a vision just like that. Let's talk about something else. Yes. Um, I've seen something here, the whirling gutty. A thing I need to talk about. What? What thing? Um, there's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Do you know what's behind it? Do you have... No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just the Frit Warehouse, probably. Probably? It could be a secret entrance and exit for the killer, Gutt, eh? Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. Rinse his finger across the counter to check for dirt. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know what's back there. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. Oh my god, he keeps mentioning how many he manages. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though. After the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Good, okay. Well, I guess, I guess that went nowhere. I saw a sign that said the mess hall is reserved for the union. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. Tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. What are you insinuating? We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. Gives me a meaningful nod. How do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even men on strike. You glance at the clock on the wall behind the manager. Huh? It's after four. The sign said reserved starting at four. Why isn't anyone in the mess hall? Good question. He turns to the cafeteria manager. They're probably <clears throat> getting drunk or protesting something somewhere or laying low after the, you know, lynching. Why is that? They probably fucking killed that guy or something, and that's why. But I thought you did. Hmm. I have a feeling we'll make their acquaintance sooner or later. Okay, there's something else I wanted to ask about. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Oh, thank you. Um, by the way, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. Absolutely in the question. First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. I agree, in Lanampo. For once you are based. About the money that I owe. Yes. Have you got it? How much do I owe you again? In your like your opinion? It's not that I actually do, but what do you think I owe you? For the drinks? 30 real. Uh, let's talk about something else. Like what? <laughs> Goodbye. I don't have 30 real. I don't think I will ever have 30 real. I want to get 50 and then I want to buy the pants. I now have two skill points. So I might as well get up something. Should I? Will I? I don't know. I think I will go for perception. Interface fixed a mirror? Was that interfacing? That wasn't was that interfacing? I can't remember. Conceptualization would be another one that, that I definitely know it as a check for, but yeah, it could have been interfacing, I guess. Yes, okay. Level up one interface. Let's try it again immediately. It was a white check, wasn't it? What if I failed the white check a second time, though? I wonder why it's called a white check. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the. Let's try again. The chain cutters shit with your hands as you attack. 
Oh. <laughs> I done goofed the second time. Still two left hands, I guess. Hey, who that? Who are you? You weren't here before. All about money, you know. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Very long. It's drink o'clock. Attaboy. It's coming back to him. You had your mesolimbic reward pathway worried there. Not thinking about drinking all that time. It was like you weren't yourself. Hmm. I've been secretly thinking about it all this time. There he is. The old boy, the devil. You rascal. Oh, God. You. Let's celebrate right now by licking that stain off the counter. Do it. It'll be wild. <laughs> where, what are we talking about? Like, where is the stain that I'm about to lick? Lick it? Don't lick it. Don't lick it, but only a little. You know what? I would be lying if I said that I never licked alcohol off of... A table before <laughs> that I spilled because in drunkenness I have done so. Uh, I lick it, but only a little. Calmly, the lieutenant looks out of the window, then to you, licking the tasty rum stain off the counter, but only a little, then out of the window again. What are you doing? Without turning his eyes from the street outside. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic, I needed to get my hit. I'm sorry I drifted off into my own thoughts and now this happened. I'm investigating. I should know. A real drink would go well with those cigarettes you're looking for. That's a great combination. I got my cigarettes already. It's one quest done. Which stain did I just lick? I wonder. I can just lick anything. Do we talk to wheelchair woman again? Maybe maybe I can beg her for money. No. I guess not. Right. At least you didn't take your pinky finger off? What? What are you talking about? What? What? What's that? Okay. Attack with this. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Why am I looking at this? Cop habit. You look at everything. This isn't case related, you think. What kind of vehicle drove through really? Hard to say. Your vision is blurred, and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. Oh, that's right, it's visual calculus. No. Shit. These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Oh, when trying to fix a thing, I didn't... Yeah, I... I well, it would be the second time I, I would have cut off a finger or two. Alright, let's visit the local Fritz, and that might be the last thing we do today. It feels like it's very hard to make progress in this game. Is there like... Is this the only location in this game and I just go around back and forth between this? Or are there like several other scenes that I I can visit? Yellow roses, dozens of them tulips too. A melan melancholy pop song plays on the radio. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritte slogan on the back. Fritte with triple T. The oh my are God! Small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. What if I fuck up stealing as a cop? Jesus! It's one big location with some small ones like the shop. Okay, have you considered safe scumming? I don't save scum. I've been accused of safe scumming before. I don't save scum. Thank you very much, Erom. I don't save scum. Just feel I'll start a playthrough of this game just to find out. <laughs> What's that? I point to the raincoat. What is what? The girl leans um, over the counter. It's a raincoat. Uh, could you be any more dis disinterested in this? If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royale. You say only as if it isn't a third of all of my savings. She taps on a glass counter. The raincoats wait, patiently await purchase. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Shit, yeah, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done this. Now be 
more difficult. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attempt to steal it for now. Maybe I can steal something else now that she's looking at the raincoat. The machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals ten cents. So tear is like the tear is the term for this. What I was talking about, like the bottle tax, is tear. Okay, I, ins I insert my dick and then my bottles. Your bottles clunk into the Oh machine. God! Only the appears with a satisfying jingle. You're a richer man now. Yeah, but was only one real seventy? Do you know what you should do with that money, kiddo? You should buy more alcohol. Enter the endless cycle of consumption. I really should. I really should. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. What do those products do? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Duramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is. She stops. I don't really know what hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Can you be a little more specific? Um, no, sorry. I'm not like a doctor or anything. Okay, if, if I did my job like that, I would be out of one immediately. I continue. Nozafed heals plus one health. Dramine heals plus three health. Magnesium heals plus one morale. Hypnogamma heals plus three morale. Uh, 90 times three, that's like 27. So I, I save about 0 0.20 real if I get the big one, the big package rather than the small one. Who is Saint Baptiste? Saint Baptiste, you know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells meds out of Saint Baptiste. That one, there. Yeah, who are they? Can tell me, okay. Let's talk. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. She returns to a magazine. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine are you reading? You mean this? She looks at the cover boasting a colorful photo of two girls kissing. Oh yeah, boys. We're in it now. This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. I approve of this. Very futuristic. Tap on the girl's kissing. <laughs> she pops her raspberry flavored bubblegum and nods. Her shoulders tense. She shuffles back only slightly. Bewilderment and repulsion root her in place. Come on, come on. She, she she thinks like I'm. I need to immediately retort now by saying that I don't condone two men kissing. Though, come on, say it. The lieutenant frowns at you before turning to the clerk with an apologetic <laughs> half smile. Before we go on, what is this frit? I don't know, frit. What is frit? A seven to eleven grocery store. 7 to 11? That's like four hours. Yeah. Really not a lot of work to do. Why is it written with three T's? I think they think that the extra T makes it funkier. It doesn't. She chews on a gum with distress, disgust rather. Oh my God. I hate young women so much. It's unreal. Let's proceed. I have some questions for you. Actually, let's go back to the magazine. Looks like it um, can, can, what is this fashion police feature? I pointed the cover. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. She stops to think, who's the numero uno guy in there right now? And does he look like this? I pointed myself. <laughs> oh, I can be really mean. <laughs> Point to her head. I bet your head would take the prize. Um... No, I don't like it. I hate it. Does she have to wear it because it's like the Brit logo or something? We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for like clarifying that. You mean this? Let's get this back into this. I wasn't done with this. Who is the numero uno guy? 
Her lazy eyes scan up and down your body, assessing the situation. I think she likes what she sees. No, I don't think so. Of course he doesn't look like me, because I look far better. We are not the fashion police. Okay, let's proceed. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. She's really helpful, holy shit. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Okay. She scratches her nose. How long has it been there? I don't know. Really long. Did you know the man who died? Not really. Not really? Does it mean you knew him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Thank you for your help. Uh-huh. She brushes a strand of hair off her face and tries to return to a magazine. Actually, one last thing, woman. Oh my god, I actually even scratched myself like Columbo just now when I said that. Does Frit have a warehouse in the back of the whirling in rags? A warehouse? I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. You're working here. Come on, give me something to work with here. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here, okay? She turns back to her magazine without waiting for you to respond. Can I ask her about her little back room? Alright, okay. Can I steal this now? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants. I'm really tissue. tempted to try. Like, I, I'm gonna save just in case this is like a situation where it's just a straight up game over. But... I'm gonna try stealing a raincoat. You see several packaged raincoats. The girl delves into the magazine. Hair covering her face. Vision obscured. She cannot see your hand move. Well, several of it failed. But now I'm trying an interfacing check. Is that it? Try to grab a package. Any one of them. Slip it up your sleeve and... Oh no. I said don't let it fall out with a thump. What did you do? I can just pretend that I want to buy it. Um... Did you? The girl stares at the package lying on the floor. It looks a little sad as it lies on a dusty floor. I mean, I didn't just see a middle-aged man try to steal a four real raincoat, did I? <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't do it. Don't judge me. I don't need your pity. I need it for an official police investigation. Really? A plastic poncho? Kim is really raining on my parade. The clerk stares at you, but doesn't say a thing for a moment or two. Oh my god, again? She's like 14. You're humiliated in front of a minor. What's wrong with you, son? Shut up, pain threshold. Oh my god, what if what have, what would have happened if I failed to check? Would I have taken actual damage? I mean, it doesn't even cost that much. Like why would you want to fuck with Frit over something like this? Why do you care? Fucking with Frit is dangerous, you know. Just leave it there. I'll put it away later. Okay, I'll leave it. Leave it. That, that was expensive. It did cost me two morale, two morale items, which, like, what was it? 90, 90 cents? 90 real cents? Wait, wait, wait. What's that over there? A colourful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. I am in heaven. I need it all so bad. Um, sure. If you want something, I can get it for you. Just let me know and pay and stuff. You're just sad. Can I drink it out of your belly button? But I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. But I guess you already know that. Wait, you're obl why are you obliged to inform me? Know this. You will never finish oh my your God. alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. Can I not just lick more alcohol off of the street? Do you sell any under the counter vices? No. Frit only sells legal drugs, like the law says. Okay, please tell me more about these products. Um, the pale-aged vodka is special. 
I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. Okay, what will consuming this stuff do to my body? I mean, I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. She does. She doesn't look like fourteen. She looks like sixteen. What is the fucking difference between a fourteen-year-old and a sixteen-year-old? Do you really see one? Also, she must be of age because otherwise she wouldn't be able to sell cigarettes and alcohol, right? Surely they don't let a minor sell cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> Substances give powerful bonuses to your. I know. Stats, I know. Yeah. Cost of damage to your health. No, that cost is negligible. Cigarettes raise your intellect while damaging your health. Alcohol raises physique while damaging your morale. Nah, that's not true. That's propaganda. Guys, kids, kids watching and listening to this, alcohol is alcohol is cool. <laughs> alcohol isn't cool, okay? Use medication like nosafed and magnesium to counteract the negative effects of substances. Note, consuming substances can have unforeseen consequences for you. Oh, thank you. Keep getting stopped at airports. I've looked the same since I was 14. Oh my god, Blue, you're like a baby boy. Like a little baby boy. Look at this. Look at this little baby blue boy. It's like little men. Okay, let's talk to this person. And that's the last thing we'll do for today, I think. The man mutters to himself, extending the beats as he goes, I am the law. You sure are, my man. He nods empathetically. Whenever I have the option to say that I am the law, I have to say I am the law. I do roleplay as Judge Dredd. Yes, people get that you are the law. You really don't have to keep saying <laughs> What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. He motions toward the sprawl of lorries with a sweeping gesture. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike. Scabs agitating. An all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo. For days upon days upon days. Upon days. He glances south down the road. So how long have you been here? It feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and mazout. Uh, I don't quite understand what you just said. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. He... Careful now. He snickers. So tell me, what do you need? Um... Care to spare some change for a working stiff? Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. They who? I think we all know who they are, right? You just need to start noticing and you, you're going to know who they are. The bosses, man. Uh, yes, yes, they are usually the bosses. Makes sense, first work then pay. I don't know who these bosses think they are, but it sounds like a good arrangement for them. Yeah, it sure ain't good for me. Or you. I'd spare a corner two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had saved four myself. Hey, he's kind of nice, I like him. Um... Do you know anything about the dead man? The one hanging behind the hostel there? Pointed the yard. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. <laughs> I just read what Blue wrote. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to repeat this. Blue is saying, I once was out eating ice cream with my girlfriend, just casually dropping that he has one there. What a humble brag. And a woman came up to us asking if she could take one of our chairs that were four, since she was sure we wouldn't use it anyway. And we said, yeah, sure. And we chatted. Why do you, why do you chat with this random woman when you're there with your girlfriend, Blue? Don't you have enough already? Are you greedy? And eventually she asked us, how old are you two? 15? <laughs> <laughs> this braid to just casually dropping a K and Blue being embarrassed. I was talking with Lambda. <laughs> uh, it's easy to see he's telling the truth. Easy. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Okay, busy with what then? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. What? Nothing. I'm just messing with you, man. 
Don't mind my idle verbosity. What? Well, you seem like a man who knows about drugs. Ah, oh, man. Me and narcotics go way back. Had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? But those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? I need to get high, and I'm looking for a dealer. Hey, man, that's serious criminal talk. Are you trying to pull some sort of an entrapment thing on me? En entrapment? What's that? Entrapment is where a law officer gets a person to commit a criminal offense they otherwise wouldn't commit, often through some trickery or fraud. Oh, so basically what the American, like, um... <laughs> Secret services are doing with like terrorists and shit? Holy crap! I didn't know there was a term for that. Yes. It's like trying to trick a person into doing something criminal that they'd never do. Uh, hey, if it yields results, I shrug and give the thumbs up. So you do realize entrapment doesn't work if you announce you're gonna do it in advance? Okay, that may be straight with you. I'm trying to figure out who is smuggling drugs out of Terminal B. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, man. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Why are you still hanging around? Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. And it gives me time to work on my rhymes. Working on these rhymes clearly leads to muscular atrophy. Make sure you don't get hooked on poetry. Oh, I won't. I'd rather be fit. Who do you think could be conducting the drug trade then? Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachon. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. Hmm. All right. I'm good for now. Give me a second. I need to. I need to dress differently. Don't. Don't worry about this. Okay, what am I thinking hey. about? Look, I look around. Hey, you. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. What? How come there's word on the street? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impel all people who have more than 25 real in their pockets. Literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. That kind of stuff. Right, that sounds like me, or I've said some mildly left-wing things, but none of those. Well, I, I, I don't know. Does this make me a lefty? <laughs> am I, oh my god, am I more, am I, I always thought I was a right-wing extremist. Now... Through this game, I've learned that actually, I'm a left-wing extremist. <laughs> ah, my brain, it tries to redwash me. Ah, how about that communism, huh? Com communism, brother. Uh, uh, that sounds like me. Funky style. Very funky. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism? Oh my god, builder? what the fuck is or this? Get right down to it. I can opt in or opt out of communism. I roll up my sleeves and start building. Oh, it's too tiring. I don't have it in me. I'm beat down and broken. Can you tell me what this is even about? Failure. It's about failure. I don't do failure. Of course you do. You are failure. You are communism. Absolutely vanquished. Beaten. Curb stomped. Shat on. While everyone else is out partying. Having a callous laugh. You we reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive. 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class. Towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers. Million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. You against the atom. The charm and the spin, where the whole world failed. Matter failed to bend to human will. Human will failed to get out of bed and tie its laces. You alone, single-handedly, will rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. Is that my superhero name? Now get to work, comrade. 
What, what, what does this do? M.A.L. Help? The game is accusing me of being a communist? What do I do? Do I opt in or out of it? <laughs> what? Do I get more money if I do it? I want. I kind of want more money. Do I, do I like share my money with everyone else if I opt in or... If I'm the last communist, then surely the only one I have to share with is me. Don't worry. Okay, I opt in then. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. What, what firing squads? You didn't say anything about those. I would have been in earlier then. Too late to back out now. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. How many million exactly? If it's like a specific number, then I roll up my sleeves further and breathe in the pristine air. God afford the Masovian socioeconomics, which makes me blind while I do it for three hours and ten minutes. People think communism was some crazy idea that had its comeuppance 40 years ago. Of, of course, true communism has never been tried before. A fever that shook the world never to return again. They were right until he woke up today. A spiritual corpse responsive only to the call of Commodore Red, prostitutes and Krasmazov. For him, communism is still a, a thing. He will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the oceanic trench where it has been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He's the big communism builder. Come, witness his attempt to rebuild communism in a year 51! Can I can I be a fascist in this game as well? Like, I, I've been incredibly racist. Are communists racist? Like, I, I thought they would because, like, Russia is such a hot, hot hodgepodge of different um, ethnicities or something, I've been told. Politics isn't that relevant for the game. Your MC doesn't know shit about politics anyway. It's literally me. Didn't know post-drinking trauma makes you into a communist? Well, we've all done some crazy things when, when drunk and hungover, I think. So I... I I did change my shirt. Maybe now I can conceptualize a little bit better. Snow limbo, man. I hit him with my best verse. Your best verse. You don't even have a bad verse in here. Just tumbleweed and liquor stains. Wait, no. What are you doing? She broke me. She fucking broke me. That's brutal, man. But you know, time will. No, stop. He's already mortified. No, no, Tommy. These are my rhymes. Listen. I continue. She fucked me till I bled. That's, uh, in the name of God. What are you doing? It's not real, guys. It's not my actual thoughts. It's a poem. <laughs> I continue. I will never be the same again. She's always there. Fuck the case. Fuck everything. Total doom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get it. These are your rhymes. They're from your life. Doesn't matter if they're robust, they're honest. So, thanks, man. Yes, and I also thank you for stopping. We have a drug investigation to return to. How about we do that? That's all for now, bye. <laughs> yeah, I, like I'm, I'm really burning through my items by, by being so committed to my persona. But what can I say? That's how I play video games. And we're going to save now and... And the gameplay for today and also the stream soonish. So bye YouTube, bye bye.